One educational facility in our area is doing its part to educate our viewers about the many programs it offers and its many partnerships with the local community. Lisa Sugar has more on the Keystone Job Corps Center in Drums. We're pleased to welcome back to our studios our friends from the Keystone Job Corps Center in Drums talking about some upcoming events. We're pleased to welcome back Kelly King, who is the Center Director in Drums, and also Cal Herring, who is the Business Community Liaison. Uh, I'm going to start with you this time, Cal. Okay. Um, there's a lot of things happening at the Keystone Job Corps Center, and you want the public to know because they're invited to participate. Um, I guess one of the things that they're invited to take part in is the blood drive that's coming up. That is correct. The blood drive is February the 23rd. Uh, we are opening up to the public. All they have to do is call 570-708-0401 and make an appointment, and we will fit them in. Um, we feel very strongly about providing blood services to the community, and this gives a good opportunity for both students, staff, and the public to assist. It's been a goal and a, and a successfully achieved that the Job Corps Center has been actively involved in the community. That's your job, like to bridge between the both. So um, you're, I know you're new to this job as well. So uh, how's it been going and how thrilled are you to be part of this? I'm very thrilled. I've been there for 23 years in a variety of capacities. Uh, this is a whole new vision for me and uh, we're taking on quite well. Uh, the program itself doesn't change, but our direction has improved and we're moving forward to give the students and the community a better opportunity. And one of those opportunities, the students and the staff will be heading out into the community mm -hmm. to take part in the annual reading event in our area. I know uh, SSP TV involved as well. So uh, where are they going to be heading and what are they going to be doing? Well, we have three dates coming up. Uh, March 2nd, we'll be involved with Reading to Lead, which is a national initiative out of the Job Corps office that supports the Read Across America. So we'll be going to the Growing Years Daycare down in the Valley and we'll be reading Sam I Am. <laughs> and then we'll off to the Hazleton Integration Project and we'll be talking about Oh, the Places You'll Go. We'll be doing both an English and Spanish version for that. And then on April 27th, we'll be up in the Freeland area and we'll be reading the Red Cat, Blue Cat book with the support from the Hazleton Chamber of Commerce. How thrilled are the students themselves when they're allowed to go out and participate like this? Because it's important. They're learning not only in the classroom, but out in the community as well. They're super excited. You know, I think the initiative teaching young people to read and kind of making it cool to read and teaching the students, the, the little ones and the older ones, that, you know, reading is fun and reading can take you places that you've never may have thought of going before and just being part of your own personal growth. So they're pretty excited about it. And as they're going out and sharing reading with them, the students are also seeing that these students are actively involved in the trades at the Keystone Job Corps Center. So maybe future students for you as well. Yep, it would be great to have uh, some future students come down from the local area and participate in this free training that's provided by the Department of Labor and taking advantage of some of the training programs, whether it's in the construction industry or the service industry, to make sure that, you know, we're training on our own, growing our own, and helping to make sure that we have employable individuals in the area to help support the employers in the area. Absolutely. And we've seen so many connections over the years where the students have come out and done projects uh, working in conjunction with local businesses, but also doing for nonprofit organizations. This, they're a really integral part of our community. Absolutely. We just assisted with the uh, Alliance to Improve Downtown Hazleton in emptying out the uh, old security savings building uh, so that would be prepared for the construction projects that are going to occur there. We're also preparing to assist the PA Career Link up here in 75 North Laurel with a ramp project to make it easier for those who have physical disabilities to enter the facility. Well, very good things happening at the Keystone Job Corps Center and Drums. Thank you both for coming in to share it. Come back often and keep us up to date. If you want to know more, there are tours every Monday at 10 a.m. at the Keystone Job Corps Center. And for more information on the center itself, you can call 570-708-0420.